now we've got a Taste Holdings, which owns Domino's, Starbucks, restaurants in South Africa. Mm. We've spoken about it extensively. It has hurt us. It's a market cap of 665.9 million rand, currently not profit profitable or paying any dividends. Yeah, and I think, you know, worrying people a little bit because the rollout is expensive, the consumer environment isn't all that great. They're going to sell a stake in a business that they had, which was jewelry sales and really focus in. You know, the, the sectors in which they trade, pizza and coffee, you know, obviously they have lots of competition there. Let's look at the share price graph, but it is Starbucks, and that's mm. what we have discussed extensively. Mm. So it sagged recently down to the sort of one rand 40 ish Ouch. sort of level. Ouch. So it's looking a little tight. But you know, we soldier on. I like it. They're opening a new Starbucks in Melrose Arch just below our offices, so that's good news. Well, there we go. That's quite close to Rosebank. Uh, I mean, people were queuing at Rosebank there when they opened that shop there. So, so basically, that becomes, uh, from a South African perspective, possibly an attractive brand in terms mm. of stuff. Uh, but, but as he says, you know, m there is lots of competition in the mm. pizza and all the other mm. products there. So you don't sound too enthusiastic. Here. Are you hot or not? No, I'm not hot. You're not hot. Okay, it's uh, out there and um, it's either going to succeed fabulously or it's not. I guess if it didn't succeed, it would be a buyout target for a larger group. So I think your value is sort of underpinned. Maybe famous brands. And, and the management team under Carlo Gonzaga remains entrepreneurial and extremely hardworking. So I'm going to back them, go hot on this one.